I'm a big, brave dog. I'm a big, brave dog. Wolves not far, great. Oh gosh, okay. I can do this. It's not gonna be so bad. Why don't we start off the show with something happy? Balance things out a bit. Birthdays are happy, and at the Fraser Valley Regional Library, it's birthday time. This marks their 85th anniversary, and reporter Danny Consalves met up with some of its members to talk about their history. Hey, it's me, a good sign. The Fraser Valley Regional Libraries are a place where people have been coming to for years to learn, write, or even dive into the world of fantasy and adventure. Looking back on their incredible 85 years, it's interesting to see how people got their information in a world without Google. And if you look back to the very beginnings, it's even more fascinating to find that the first library in the Fraser Valley didn't even have a fixed address. The day when the library van comes down the road from Yarrow and Totem to Huntingdon is a day for living. It is a far cry from the days when books were chained to tables and only the rich could read to this, the day of the mobilized front line of learning. It all began with Dr. Helen Gordon Stewart. She had a very interesting history. She was from Manitoba. She didn't know much about libraries, but saw something in the Ladies' Home Journal that said, what's it like to be a librarian, and thought she wanted to, and moved to New York City, and went to library school to become a librarian. Um, took a little time off, in the meantime, was a nurse in World War I, uh, and then came to Victoria, became the head librarian at the Victoria Library, and that's when she was hired to start this demonstration project of uh, Fraser Valley Union Library. It was book vans from farm community to farm community to farm community. And since then, we've grown to uh, serve a population of almost 700,000 people in 13 different municipalities. The FVRL eventually became the first regional library in North America and is currently the largest in BC. So what's their secret to being so successful? According to Smitty, it's all about change. Libraries change daily. Think of how you feel about how fast things are changing in your everyday life. How fast things are changing with electronics. How fast things are changing with how quickly buildings are built. Um, the library, you know, is a reflection of the time that we live in. And so we're moving just as fast. The challenge for libraries is that we have to keep one step ahead so that we can help people find information and new information sources help people use new devices like e-readers or tablets. Um, so we have to stay one step ahead so that we can be of assistance as the world barrels on past us. <laughs> However, with a lot of information available on our smartphones, the libraries have had to think outside of the box in recent years to expand their experience. We've opened up our spaces. We've become more retail-like. You can browse easier. We have lots of free activities. I mean, we're the last free place on earth, you know? Free activities for adults and children, community activities, um, and it's not just books. We have DVDs and magazines and newspapers and, and keeping up with all the latest technology, you can book a librarian for an hour to help you with something or research. You know, there's a lot of information out there in this modern information age, but just having it be there doesn't mean you know how to get it. And that's where professional librarians and people who make it their life's work uh, can help you find stuff. Looking back on these past 85 years and how much things have changed from the first bookmobile, Smitty enjoys reflecting on the FVRL's humble beginnings. Especially when I see this film, it kind of re-inspires me. You'll find that people who work in libraries are odd. <laughs> um, we get excited about things like, you know, books, like a new book comes in and we all want to smell it because we love the smell of the new pages, you know. Um, but we're also just excited about helping people. And when I see the history and what people went through um, because they wanted access to a book and how much easier it is for us now, it just inspires me more to just want to be that conduit uh, between the information that people need and them. You know, I, how can I help you? That's, that's our mantra here. How can we help you find what you need today? Um, and it's just inspiring to be a part of that history. At the Chilliwack Library, I'm Danny Gonsalves for Go on Shaw TV.